under your belt? Yeah, it was uh, emotional. I think uh, I got watery. I, I know I would when I, you know, whenever I, I uh, my parents kind of praise me, whether it's through a text message or, you know, because my parents are like me, they're, they're, they always have a lot of praise, you know, and then like when, I think we all keep our emotions in check a little bit. So I think, you know, at any time they're proud, it kind of makes me feel special, makes me feel good. Um, it's cool to see good buddies. Uh, yeah, just happy. I think more than anything that my kids got to be there and my wife. I think uh, my daughter was super pumped up. I think the first question she asked my wife was if she could be, if she could go to the family room during the game to hang out with the kids. <laughs> and, you know, I was like, oh, things are a little different here this year. But uh, yeah, for, for the Jets to be able to pull it off and, and um, you know, they, my wife and the kids sacrificed, uh, you know, they didn't go to daycare or Montessori school for 10 days. Um, they've been hunkered down you know, super paranoid that, you know, just because they want to make this night special. They've been tested multiple times and they didn't, never complained. So more than anything, I'm happy uh, it's over with and, and they got to be part of it. We'll go next to Murat Atesh from The Athletic. Go ahead, Murat. Thanks, Gregor. Um, yeah, congratulations on the accomplishment now that it's in the books, Paul. Uh, to, to this extent, now that the game is done, you've got the win, you have the emotional ceremony. What do you, what do you suspect you're going to be taking away from it memories-wise? Um, I don't know. I think it's, it's always nice to hear, uh, compliments. I mean, compliments are always nice. Let's be honest. Everyone, you know, everyone likes it. Um, part of me, I don't like the limelight. I don't like, I'm happy it's over with. Cause I just, I don't like, uh, yeah, I like to fly under the radar. I think my wife and I are, are both similar like that, but you know, you hear very nice words, complimentary words from people you look up to, uh, people you, you know, they're your mentors, people that you played with, that you respect their game, your peers. I think, I think that means a lot to me. And, uh, you know, all those messages are always nice. I got, you know, my phone was blowing up today. So it just, um, it's cool to see the people like keeping tabs on you. Uh, I think more than anything, it's just kind of the way I was raised where I think I've said it before, it, it's, you try to be a good person, you know, you try to be a good hockey player first and foremost, but, or you try to be a good hockey player first and foremost, you want to be a good person, good teammate, you know, have good character, good values, good morals. And that's something, you know, both my parents kind of bestowed upon me and uh, my in-laws bestowed upon, you know, my wife. And so that, that's always kind of been our thing. And um, yeah, you know, I think uh, when you see the kind of the reaching out and the outpouring of love and support from all these people that, you know, whether I went to grade school with or college with or cross paths in juniors or college or yeah, juniors or college or professional or international, it's, that's pretty cool. And it's, uh, it's unique. Obviously, it doesn't happen too often. So, um, you know, I think we're, we're proud of this milestone and, and happy it's over with. And probably more excited that we won, you know, because it's going to be a night to remember. I think uh, if we would have lost 5 nothing, and <laughs> everyone would have been still grumpy in there, but I think everyone's in a good mood. I think uh, we know where we're sitting now, and, and it's always nice to win on a special night like this. We'll go next to Jeff Hamilton from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Paul. Um... Blake had, hint, had mentioned uh, Paul Maurice's pregame speech, and it, it seemed to be a based on a question of kind of about you. I'm, I'm curious how much of kind of your the respect that they have for you played into that speech, if anything, and, and if not, then just the overall you know play from your teammates who seemed to embrace you at the end there and then follow through with that celebration into what was a pretty solid 60 minutes. Yeah, I've always spoke high volumes of Paul as a coach. Um, but, but the one thing that you guys don't see is he's got these, like, I mean, these Winston Churchill speeches and, and I don't even know how he thinks of them. It's just like, uh, we've won five in a row. I'm like, Oh, what's he going to say? He knows exactly what to say. We lost five in a row. Guys are down. He knows exactly what to say. So he, he always does a good job of kind of like intertwining, you know, something special, my thousandth game with, you know, the way we're trying to build our game with the way we're playing, you know, and, and he always kind of, takes a step back away from hockey and has a different perspective on it. So um, a guy being in the league long enough, being around different coaches, uh, being around a bunch of leaders, it's, you've seen a lot of different ones and everyone has different tactics. Everyone knows how to, everyone does different things, different ways, but you could tell he, he, he's very thoughtful. He takes his time. He, he knows how impactful his speeches are and how impactful his, his words are. And, and they mean a lot. And, uh, you know, I don't take that for granted. I always tell the guys that are young to, you know, to appreciate it because one day they're going to have a coach that is not like him. And 
there's a lot of coaches in this league. They all coach differently, right? And and some are just X and O's. Some are motivators. Some are, you know, guys that have that military or military approach where they just want you to work hard, 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 and they're really hard on you. And Paul's done a good job of kind of blending everything in. And that's something I really noticed when I came here three years ago, and I, and I notice now. And um, he's really evolved, you know, as a person, as a coach. And um, uh, the way he talks about us, you know, the way the relationship is almost kind of. It's like a father son, or like a, a mentor relationship where, you know, you can always look up to him and, and look for him for guidance. And, and he does, uh, yeah, to me, it, it, you know, he has a lot of impactful speeches, stuff that I'll remember always that, you know, when you're younger, you probably wouldn't pay attention to it. As you're older, you realize, you know, how important some of these things are that he's talking about. And final question to Tim Campbell from NHL.com. Go ahead, Tim. Hey, Paul, congratulations on the thousandth game. Uh, let me get you to look forward. Um, what are the challenges, the biggest challenges the Edmonton Oilers are going to present you guys? Um, their power play, their top two guns, McDavid and Dreisaitl. You know, just just finding ways to – it's nice knowing who we're going to play. I think it's it's finding ways to try to minimize their chances off the rush. I think uh, they're, they're going to make plays. You know, they're going to score goals. They're going to score points. Um, but for us, it, it's – how do we adjust our game to make us successful? You know, I don't think we want to, we don't want to change our game to stop them only. I think, yeah, that's a priority, but we also got to find a way to score goals against these guys and, and find their weaknesses. And I think their coaches will do a good job of kind of coming up with a, with a game plan, you know, and for us to kind of trust that game plan and go from it. I think, uh, you know, we don't expect games to be, to be one, nothing. Um, but when you play, you know, superstars like this, they're game changers. They're, they're, it's a good challenge. It's, you know, we're up for it. I think, uh, you know, there's probably no pressure on us. So we just got to go in there with, with low pressure, but just play the game and enjoy it and embrace the challenge. I think anytime you play against those guys, um, you know, it, it raises your game, but at the same time, uh, you know, we got some pretty good players on our team too. And, uh, we got some guys coming back soon that are healthy that should be back for playoffs, whether it's early in playoffs or during playoffs, you know, so that's important. But at the same time, I think, I like the, I like what we have in our room. I think we complement each other when we play the right game. And I think it's about sticking with that. And I think uh, sometimes we get frustrated, we might get away from it. But um, you know, some of the last games we actually haven't been playing that bad. But you know, things weren't going our way today. We got probably some more balances. But uh, there's things in games that we like and and that we know that are advantageous to us. And we just got to stick with that. Be patient, knowing that's going to be you know a, a tough series, but it's going to be fun. Thanks very much, Paul. Thanks, guys.